Once described by the Wall Street Journal as a restless genius, Ray Kurzweil is an American inventor, author and futurist. He's been part of a number of major technological breakthroughs, including the first flatbed scanner, the first print-to-speech reading machine for the blind, and the world's first commercially marketed speech recognition system. He's also written several books, including The Age of Spiritual Machines. Ray Kurzweil is the subject of the feature-length documentary Transcendent Man, and he joined us earlier from Boston. Ray Kurzweil, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure. Now, we've just seen in that story from Mark Willisey the potential use of humanoids working as nurses, giving lectures. What do you imagine humanoids will be used for in the future? Well, I think we'll have robots in all sizes and shapes. Some will look like humans because we'll give them human jobs, particularly if we want them to relate to us as companions or even lovers. Uh, but some will have no shape at all. I mean, we use Google every day. That's artificial intelligence. Uh, AI, artificial intelligence, is going to get smarter and smarter. By my calculations, it will reach human levels of intelligence by 2029, and then combine it with ways in which they're already smarter. They can access vast amounts of information. We're hard-pressed to remember a handful of phone numbers. Japan has an ageing population, and, and they're hoping that robots will be able to help with uh, aged care. One university in Japan has released an emotional humanoid robot to, to relieve stress in patients. Do humanoids really have that capacity to connect with humans on an emotional level? Well, that's really the big frontier right now is for computers in general to master human emotions. Emotions is not some sideshow to human intelligence. It's actually the most complicated, intelligent thing we do. Being funny, getting the joke, expressing a loving sentiment, though, that's the cutting edge of human intelligence. Uh, if we were to say intelligence is only logical intelligence, computers are already smarter than us. Uh, I believe it's going to be about the, over the next 20 years where we close that gap in terms of human superiority today in emotional intelligence. So today, uh, computers can understand human emotions in certain situations. Watson, the IBM computer that won Jeopardy, did have to understand some things about human emotion to master the language in that game. Uh, but they're not yet at human levels. But they're, they're getting there. You predict that humans will soon merge with machines. What do you mean by that, and how long will it, and how will it manifest itself? Well, look at the early indicators. Uh, if you have Parkinson's, you can put a computer inside your body, connects into your brain, uh, and it replaces the functionality, of, or at least some of the functionality of the neurons that are destroyed by the disease. The latest generation allows you to download new software to the computer inside your body, connected to your brain from outside the patient. There are a dozen different neural implants that are being experimented with or used, like cognitive.